Am I gonna get through there? It's that road I need to be on. I'm blocking the road. Filthy. There's Chris. <laughs> Let's make this battle. Some hot oh, greenery. into that bus lane just slightly when turning left here you, you'll get a ticket one of the other drivers got one his back, his back tire was literally just cut across the red bit and he got a fine for it anyway well that's handy isn't it those road works are right where I need to be to offload Oh, 
Right, sorry I couldn't get any crane action on that. I wanted to, but as you can see, I'm blocking the road. I didn't have all the cars have turned round and gone the other way now. Yeah, so there's that delivery done. I took a picture of it, here it is. I wanted to get some footage of the crane there and it was a nice little delivery but that's the way it goes. Right, I'm going to do this collection in Kelsall now. Do a tight squeeze out of here. Right, that's that one in the bag. Head back to the yard now and get some more deliveries. Um, it's still the same day, it's still Friday, I went back to the yard, I loaded up, and I'm here, and I've just done that delivery, I'll put the picture up now, even though you've seen it. Anyway, I had blocks, temples, sand, cement, smaller speedboards, curbs, uh, I've still got two more deliveries on this run. I'll try and get them as well. Let's crack on. Move over for this big boy. It switch on the side of that. So I'm on my way to Gwenafield near Mould in North Wales. I think that's the right way to say it. I've got some plaster balls to deliver and then I've got some uh, rock face bases to Buckley and then it'll be lunchtime. 20 mile an hour all these roads are going in Wales. It is pretty slow. Right, shut up, Sean. Let's go. I'm on my way to Buckley now for the last delivery of this run, the third and last delivery. It's 5 to 12 
So by the time I get to Buckley, do that, head back the yard, I'll be spot on for dinner time, lunch time. Just coming out of mould now, on my way to Buckley. Mould is a historic market town. I think I mentioned it a couple of videos back. They closed the town centre off on a Saturday and a Wednesday and they have a market. Uh, you can't, I think it's between nine was it eight? Eight and five, you can't drive through the town centre, you can only walk through because the market's there obviously and then it opens back up and you can drive through again. It's, it's hundreds of years old. Gonna be going up now through Monith Issa to Buckley. Yeah, the, this this road's still 30 mile an hour. But the, it's all the little side side roads that have gone to 20. I'm not sure if all these will be as well, but I know the whole of Wales. See like that little street there on the right, 20 miles an hour. The one on the left there, 20, all the everywhere's 20 now. That's gonna cost a lot of money, isn't it, putting all those signs up. Yeah, anyway, we're nearly there in a minute, so I'll be quiet. Here we go, another good example of parking. Am I going to get through there? Looks very tight. That'll be people going to the doctors here on the right. That looks tight. The only trouble is I'll have to back out onto a main road. Oh, 
Do I wait or do I back out onto the road? Could be waiting here forever, couldn't I? That's ridiculous, isn't it? What if a fire engine was trying to get through there? Yeah, well, yeah, that's the only problem I've got backing out onto the road. You sure you don't mind? That's nice, some guy's gonna back me out onto the road. What a legend. They'll be in the doctors. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm one of Brookie's lads here, so I'm in your place all the time. Oh, right, yeah. So, yeah, I'll back you out now. Sound, mate. Nice one. That was good timing that. I was just debating what to do. Yeah, I'll back it out. What a guy. Yeah, that way. Nice one mate, I appreciate that. Cheers. What are the chances of that, eh? I have to go a different way. It's that road I need to be on, but the other end of it. They don't intentionally park like that, but I think some people just don't don't even think about trucks on the road. I was debating what to do. He turned up at the right, perfect timing. What a guy! Um, it's not ideal backing out onto the main road on your own. I have got a reverse camera, but. Honest to God, when you're backing out onto a main road, people can see what you're doing, but they still fly past. Anyway, that's all done. Sh shut up now. Get this delivery done. Go back and have dinner, because I'm Hank Marvin. And we'll see what the rest of the day brings. <laughs>
cucumbers, gherkins, tomato, pickled onions in there as well. Chicken on here. Sorted. There's uh, <clears throat> dinner done and dusted. They're a bargain. 65p in home bargain. 450 calories in the whole bag. Because it's per 100 grams and the, it is a 100 gram bag. 70% fat, 13% protein. That big bag, well, I know like a grab bag of walkers are like 260 odd calories. At least six times the amount in there. I don't eat them every day, it's only because it's Friday. I'm trying to get rid of my moobs. Anyway. I've just been in the office. There's, uh, there's no more deliveries on for today. So I'm gonna go in, clean the old girl. Yeah, go and clean the old girl, she's filthy. And um, I should have a, enough footage to make a video out of this, this morning, hopefully. So it might be the end of the video, it might not be. Now I'm going to go and fuel up, ready for Monday morning, one less job to do Monday. And thanks for tuning in on another video, I appreciate it, hope everyone has a good weekend. And until next time, I'll catch you next time. Awooga! There's Chris. Feedback's pretty good on it, everyone's saying it's good stuff. Uh, each tub is a quarter of a cube, and they're roughly half a ton each. So there's a there's a full cube here. I'm gonna get the crane down, strap it all up, and be on my way.